it's nice to know, I mean, you know, what's your next step you're looking for. So there will be some questions you can ask me and then we can, let's do this uh, very casual. You know, uh, I'm not here to examine you or you, you're coming to so many things nowadays are very simple. It's a keyboard you can find. If you want to talk about the standard or all these kind of things, uh, it's just a button you can press, you can find out all the standard. Doesn't mean whoever can read the standard, actually he can go and attach to the standard. Because so many things in the groups, when I found out among you guys, they talk about standard. Some of them, they post the standard of particular bird. But when you come to the reality, you don't see that things has been, uh, he, he, he goes through that. Okay, my question now. You have the number of different breed. And you aiming to be good in all the breed. Do you think you can manage that? No. That's happened with most of you, because I've seen some loft that you go and say, dang, 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 like a supermarket. He got da, da, different breed, and he want all super. And when they look at the pigeons, especially in, uh, if he's in a Facebook or any group, or, oh, this is nice bird, I want this bird. Even though it's not his taste. It happens like people, they go, in the big hotel, they have a buffet, different food. From here to there, maybe 50, 60 different type of food. You take a big plate, oh, I want this, I want, without tasting them. You cannot go and eat all these things. You go first round. What do you mean in pigeons? You try. Then you will taste which one is nicer. Then you stuck, okay. One, two, three, four, those are my food. Now I, I don't care. If I know he likes rice, that means I should eat rice, no. I'm always against something because this hobby should be hobby at least 75%. The problem, we take it as a hobby but we leave it as a 10%. The 90% they were looking financially wise. Okay, I keep birds, one lakh, because everyone like this bird, so I go and get this bird. There is a bird, what, a thousand, that you love that bird, but because the others, no market for it, so the guys, they look at it, that's, at the end, it's a bird, it's a pigeons. The, the problem, so many things has been a fact in global wise. I used to go to Europe, seeing people 80 years, 75 years old, and he stuck to a type of birds or two, and he keep them for 50, 60 years. And he enjoying that. He don't care that today is one dollar and tomorrow's hundred dollar. A value for, for him, that's the, the hobby. Again, we said there are people, they depend and on that income. It's not a shame to breed and sell, but a few terms in going to, through uh, shows, the shows shouldn't be your target that Okay, this year I'll be the champion in Fantel, so my birds are all going high price. You have to realize that, okay, if you're thinking this way, you running in a small circle, because maybe this bird, in two years' time, there is no market demand on it, and then the love for that particular breed, it will change. Let's think, okay, it's hobby. I will keep something to earn and cover the cost and make some money, no problem. But you have to have certain of breed that you love. 
should take them to different steps. I would like just to share a small story about one of the show in Doncaster. It's in England. Uh, I attended that show. It was maybe 12 years back. And I was videoing two ladies. They came very old. They was at that time 88 years old. They was walking and one of them, she got support and the other one holding this and they have a small box. They came in, they have Benson ruler, the, it's a, a ruling pigeons. And I was looking at them, oh, to me it was a surprise to see such old people. And I was asking them, can I help you? Because they cannot see the leg number and, and I tried to help them and I was asking them, are you, are you twins? Because they look like each other. They said, no, we are friends. You know, and since when you were keeping this breed? She said, since we was in secondary school, you have only this breed? She said, yes. We, together, we breed this pigeons, and we, and they, we tried to find the cage number, and I helped them, and they were sitting in a small chair. They waiting the decision of the judge, what will end up. And they went in one class, Emotionally, they grabbed each other and they was crying. That's the love of the bird. So when I saw those guys, I said, ah, that's the enjoyment. They keep birds for their love. Unfortunately, not, I'm not trying to downgrade or, or say something. In our region, the love of the birds or the pigeons come in terms of the value price of the pigeon. To go higher price, the love increased. Go down, oh no. I could realize that. I go to the loft. He got three floor in loft. Oh. Nowadays, shield, crest, uh, frill back. You could see him, it's up. The second, Maybe Lahori, it's go to the second stage, the third stage, maybe it's Jacobins. But when the Jacobin go price high, it will be opposite. He goes stage upper. That's which I go and sometime I visit people in my region and my country. I don't go much, but when I step in, the minute I go, because I'm not focusing on the market price, but when I go and I tour, oh, Nowadays, Bukharas, how you know? Because it's up, <laughs> the rest is going down. So please, uh, my advice, everyone should have his food, what, sh what he's enjoying. Do not look at others that oh, they eat big quantity of meat. No, that's not your food, you're not. Keep others select some for you, focus, take it further. All, are you, all of you, you have enough knowledge. That's why maybe in the WhatsApp group, we don't talk about informations much and all these things because I could realize, the minute I open Facebook, I could see a good bird, they get good comments because you know that's a good bird. If you don't know, you may keep commenting on anyone. 